Jaime urges LGUs to help farmers and lease with RSBSA. Manawagan nga si Senate Committee on Cooperatives Chairman Aimee Marcos sa Department of Agriculture na turuan ang mga magsasaka ng mga makabagong teknolohiya sa pagtatani, particular na ang palay. Ito ay sa gitna na rin ng matinding init na nararanasan ngayon sa bansa. Paliwanag ni Senator Marcos, hindi naman kailangan nakalubog sa tubig ang lahat ng palay sa taniman tulad ng nakasanayad ng mga magsasaka. Sabi kasi sa mga balitang kumakalat ngayon sa mundo ng social media. Senator Amy Marcos said local government units in Iloilo need to help their farmers and list with the registry system for basic sectors in agriculture so they get their rightful share from the assistance provided by the Department of Agriculture, especially during El Nino phenomenon. The senator, who arrived in Iloilo on Thursday for a series of engagements, said they were surprised that there was too much dust when they arrived and they could no longer see green and plants. She thought such only happens in Metro Manila. Iloilo is not much better pala. It's a dangerous situation because we always look towards Iloilo as the single largest rice provider in the entire Visayas. Kayo lang naman ang may significant rice crop and it's now being threatened by El Nino. While grazing the basketball and cheer dance clinics in the municipality of Barota Viejo, she told mayors present that Visayas is at the end of the list of the RSBSA that allows DA to provide 5,000 pesos assistance to farmers. She said, LGUs have to intervene because the list is quite outdated. Marcus said there is a need for catch up since it took a while for the release of a small irrigation and the Jalawar River multi-purpose project is not yet completed. So there is no major irrigation to expect. In addition to enlisting with the RSBA, Marcus said another best thing to do is rehabilitate small water impounding areas and other irrigation canals. We also need to learn new technologies, she said, adding that DA needs to provide farmers with drought resistant and short maturing varieties of rice and vegetables. The Department of Social Welfare and Development has funds for the El Nino response. In the end, it is also incumbent upon us to start saving water through methodologies that are different in harvesting rain, she added. Data from the Office of Civil Defense Western Visayas showed that as of March 27, 2024, the damage to agriculture in the region reached over 770.58 million pesos, with 20,610 affected farmers and fisher folk. 10,116 came from Iloilo. At sa naging isyong ito, ano ang yung naging reaksyon? Maging malaya magbigay ng kanilang personal opinion sa comment section. Anyways, for more Chikabe updates, don't forget to like and subscribe!